Here's day 150. Grab your guitar and let's get ready to practice together right now. All right, today we're gonna to be doing high, low, middle, low. On the three. Then up there on the six. Then on the seven and then the four. Nice and slow. All right, let's do this 100 beats per minute. One, two, ready, go. There's our six, next. It's a seven, down to the four. Back down to the three. Up to the six, position. Then the seven with your index. Down to the four, now let's go up an octave to the three. Up here. All right. One, two, ready, go. Let's go to the next one. Three, six, seven, down to four. Do that one again. Three, six, seven, four. Back down. Three, six, seven. practice these as long as you want and need each day with me here. You could either rewind and loop the video, or you could just use the metronome yourself, which is probably better off, so you don't have to worry about playing on top of my sound. All right, let's do triplets. Actually, let's do eights first. One and two and ready, go. Next one, three to six, and then seven down to four. Now you want to remember that the three goes to the six, and then seven goes down to the four. Next, three goes up to the six, seven goes down to the four, which is right by the three and the six, which of course, right by the seven and the four, back down. I know those octave jumps are tough. So if you have trouble with that from the string skip perspective, slow it down as much as you need to figure that out. Eventually it becomes easier. All right, let's do triplets. One, two, ready, go. these things are tough not only because of the speed but because you might not have done groupings like this before and I have been notified from one of my students um, that there are people doing similar lessons not to the style that we're doing here for you but more to the point where they're saying instead of saying uh, that this is one thing and that's another thing they're grouping a couple things at once which there's nothing new about that. I guess that's typically the way people have done it for years. 
but they're selecting a couple strings as groupings which if you like to see it that way that's fine however it works for you to memorize it I think that the lowest common denominator is to just do um, the way I'm showing it just so like we have the three and the six I don't want to think of this as one event because sometimes we change things about our scales for instance we might play melodic minor and I don't want to have to learn a new sequence when I can just take what I already know and adjust it but everybody's a little different either way don't worry about all that confusing stuff just come back every time every day with me here and you'll be better than me soon I'll see you again tomorrow <laughs>